All right, so what happened is I made a video before called the five worst things to do in a lucid dream. It went really well, a lot of people watched it, but I was thinking about this the other day, there are actually a lot more things that you shouldn't do in a lucid dream. There's a lot more things that you should never do in a lucid dream. And there are a number of reasons for that. So let's just get right into it. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the 10 things, right? Let me just get that thumbnail. 10 things that you should never do in a lucid dream. And there's a good reason for each one. So if a couple of these are the same as the other video, just ignore it, I'm gonna give some new insights and everything. Most of them will be brand new. Number one, you should never lucid dream about real events or conversations you could have with a person in real life. The reason for that is dream memories can get very easily mixed up with lucid dream memories. So if you have a lucid dream and in that dream you talk to your partner and you maybe have an argument with them or you tell them how you truly feel, what can happen is you can wake up and then remember that conversation as if it had actually happened, right? Because it's so similar to waking life, you can remember it as if it had actually happened and then in that way you get confused. You say to your partner, oh, don't you remember we talked about this last night, you know, or the night before, or even a month ago. And they'll say, you know, what do you mean? We, we've never spoken about this. And you can get confused and it can get a bit awkward and annoying. Never dream or lucid dream about real conversations with real people because you'll have a really hard time of distinguishing between what, hap what actually happened and what was a lucid dream memory. Number two, I'm just gonna get straight into it and say this, sex. Lucid dreaming sex, I would completely advise against simply because you're in a lucid dream, right? You can literally do anything that you can possibly imagine. So why would you choose sex? You can have sex in waking life. Right? Obviously it's not as guaranteed because in a lucid dream you can do whatever you want and dream characters will often just go along with whatever you suggest. But that being said, you could literally do anything. Do you know what I mean? Like you could fly circles around Pluto if you wanted to. You could do anything you can imagine. So lucid dreaming sex is just not really on the top of my priority list, especially as now I can do many more things in a lucid dream. Um, and that another thing is that when you have sex in a lucid dream, it excites you and arouses you, it wakes you up, and it therefore cuts your lucid dreaming time in half because you're just going to wake yourself up. So I wouldn't advise to do that in a lucid dream at all. Unless you're a beginner, in which case it's fine, right? I mean, a lot of people, one of the main things they, they learn lucid dreaming for is to have sex. So that's fine. But if, you, if you're more experienced and if you have more lucid dreams, I would advise against it simply because you could do anything else. So number three, don't think about your dreaming body. So obviously when you're lucid dreaming, your actual real body is laying there in bed, but don't let that thought enter your mind. And if it does, try and dissuade, you know, try and ignore that thought as much as you can. Because if you think about your body laying there asleep, it's gonna be very hard to get lucid again. It's just gonna make you think, oh, well, I'm, it's gonna bring your awareness back to your real life body and that's gonna make you lose lucidity. Number four, don't close your eyes. This sort of goes without saying, but if you close your eyes, what's normally gonna happen is you're gonna end your lucid dream and wake up. Five, and this might surprise you a bit, don't do things that are too exciting. And that is simply because the same principle as a lucid dreaming sex, the more exciting the thing that you're doing in a lucid dream, the more likely you're gonna wake up and just end the lucid dream. So try and do things that you that you want to do, obviously, things that are exciting and interesting, but not so exciting that they wake you up. Okay, so number six, don't spin around too fast. Okay, so one of the best ways of stabilizing a lucid dream and making the dream last longer is to spin around on the spot. You can also do things like rubbing your palms together and telling yourself, I will become more lucid or I'll stay ill, whatever the case is. But if you spin around too fast, Okay, if you start doing, you know, little parettes and you start drilling yourself into the into the floor, you're going to wake up very quickly because you're going to feel dizzy. You're going to normally what happens is if you spin too fast, your vision actually fades to blackness and then you wake up. So if you do need to stabilize the dream, try and do it in a way that won't wake you up. Try and do things like rubbing your hands together. The best way I found is just to ask the dream itself you know, can you help me stay here longer? Or can you help me become more lucid? Now I'm gonna get on to dream commands in a second because they are some of the worst things you can do. If you say the wrong thing, if you ask the dream the wrong thing, bad idea. What number are we on now? Okay, so number seven, don't look into a mirror. If you want to look into a dream mirror, um, obviously make that your goal and then set aside an entire lucid dream to exploring dream, uh, dream mirrors, I should say, because the mirror experiment is one which is really interesting. But then once you've done it, you don't really need to look into mirrors because when you look into a dream mirror, you're not going to see an accurate representation of yourself anyway. It's going to be like a distorted, mangled image based on what you, how you feel about yourself. 
all based on your feelings at the time, your feelings the previous day. So it's just, it's gonna be a confusing and awkward and even scary experience for a lot of people. So it's just not really worth doing more than one or two times. Okay, so number eight is actually a dream command. Now, let's just recap before I get into this. A dream command is when you tell the lucid dream something directly. So you say to the lucid dream, you shout out loud, become more lucid or increase the brightness. And what will happen is the lucid dream, your subconscious mind, will respond by changing the actual dream that you're experiencing. So that's that, dream commands are that. What you should never do in a lucid dream is tell the dream to show you something scary. Because, well, you know, spoiler alert, the dream will show you something scary. But because it's your subconscious, because it's actually you that will be showing yourself something scary, your subconscious mind knows your deepest fears. Your subconscious mind knows exactly what will terrify you, so much so that you'll wake up, you know, like shaking. So don't ask the subconscious dream to show you something scary because it will show you something scary and it won't be good. <laughs> Obviously, if you want to experience something really terrifying, then go ahead and see what it can show you. But just bear in mind that it is your subconscious mind. It knows what you're scared of and it will show you that very vividly. Number nine is kind of one building on a myth but it's sort of a half truth as well. So there is a myth that you can get stuck in a lucid dream. Obviously you cannot get stuck in a lucid dream, but number nine is something I would suggest to never do in a lucid dream, and that is to ask the subconscious mind or ask the dream itself, trap me in this dream. You, you should never tell the dream to trap you in the dream, because as I said before, it's your, sub it's your subconscious mind, it is very powerful and, and it can make you feel like you're trapped in the dream. Okay? It, can make, it can turn the experience into a lucid nightmare. So when you say something like that, when you're sort of testing the boundaries and you want to experience something a bit scary, just bear in mind that it will be scary. If you tell the lucid dream to trap you, it will give you the experience of being trapped and it will go then instantly in, in one moment, it will go from being a lucid dream to being a lucid nightmare and that is terrifying. Number 10, you should never try and fly too soon in the lucid dream itself. If you try, if you become lucid, say if you do a reality check and you instantly become lucid, you know you're dreaming. A lot of people will then immediately try and jump up in the air and fly around. And while that is good and you can, most of the time you can fly, it's not going to be as easy as if you just wait a bit and stabilise your lucid dream and become lucid properly. Okay? What will normally happen is you'll try and fly too soon, you'll meet some sort of wall or some sort of mental barrier or boundary where you try and do something and you just can't do it. You know, you're, you fall back to the ground or you lose lucidity or things start fading to black. And what that is, is you're trying to push yourself too far. It's like you're trying to climb a hill in too high a gear. You're not really ready for it yet. You need to change down and build up slowly. So when, if you try and fly too soon, what's gonna happen is you're gonna overload yourself and just wake up or just stop yourself. And it's very frustrating. One of the most annoying things ever is when you're in a lucid dream, you know you're dreaming, and you try and do something and you find that you can't do it. And more often than not, that's because you're not properly lucid. You need to stabilize the dream with stabilization techniques. You need to do more reality checks. You need to either meditate in the dream or out of the dream or both, and then build up to it slowly. And that is it, guys. That is the 10 things I would say never to do in a lucid dream. If you enjoyed this video, please share it, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.